Hey, Shalom. This is the brother Sanala. I'm going to start off by giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, Bashim, Kodash. Double honor to the elders of GMS. It rule well. Peace and blessing to you, brothers out there preaching this word in sincerity and truth. Um, just coming back with a quick lesson. Um, the uh, uh, elder of our camp, Yashawamba, uh, I challenge all the brothers to do uh, a, a, a lesson on Psalms, the 15th chapter. Uh, so I want to just uh, quickly go into this chapter. So it's a, it's a short chapter, uh, but it's a very very powerful chapter um, as far as the, the, uh, what it, what it has to say. Um, and so I just want to uh, quickly go in into uh, go into it. So I'm gonna start off with uh, Psalms 15 and one. It says a Psalm of David. Uh, Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle, and who shall dwell in, in thy holy hill? He that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. He that abideth not by uh, it. He that backbiteth not with his tongue, nor doeth evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up reproach against his neighbor, in whose eyes a vile person is condemned. But he honoreth them that fear the Most High. He that sweareth to his own hurt and chargeth not. He that putteth not out his mouth to usury, nor taketh reward against the innocent. He that doeth these things shall never be moved. And so, uh, just like I said earlier, there was a lot said in this very, very short uh, uh, chapter in the book of Psalms. Uh, just starting with Psalms uh, 15 and 1, it says, uh, 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 Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle, who shall dwell in thy holy hill? There's as asking a question there, and then it gives the answer. But uh, you know that's the that's the question that you should be asking yourself and, and and trying to get an answer to because that's what we're striving for. We want to be a part of that that house of David. Uh, we want to dwell in the government of the uh, of uh, the elect. Okay, we want to be a part of the chosen one of uh, the one. 144,000 when Yahweh Shad uh, um, comes back um, to commit judgment on the earth uh, to the to the heathen and to the two thirds of our people. We want to be a part of that one third that elect number that get delivered. But ultimately, not just a part of that one third. We want to be the elect of the elect. We want to be of the 144,000 men that's going to be uh, with Yahweh Shad passing out judgment all over the planet earth, you know. We want to we want to have one of those, those crowns on a place that I had as spoken about spoken about in, in Matthew. Um, it says he that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart. <laughs> right. And so and that's what we were we're constantly uh, striving for on this side. Although we, we we're trapped in these chains of this flesh and, and we're we're bound in the iniquity of, of this this wicked wicked society we, we were striving for the masteries constantly and we're, we're constantly pushing towards that mark um so we can be deemed as worthy in the eyes of the heavenly father and his son uh, to be uh taken out of these chains of darkness and then uh, uh again we're going to go from those uh, terrestrial bodies to those celestial bodies uh when we're uh delivered from this place and go up into those chariots and so um it says, he that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness and speaketh truth in his heart. Right. And that that this scripture here, uh, even reading down, it says, he that backbiteth not his tongue, nor doeth evil to his neighbor, nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor. Um, in, in whose eyes a vile person is uh, condemned, but his uh, but he honored them that feared the Most High. He that sweareth to his own hurt and charges not. There's two scriptures that come to mind. The first scripture is uh, in First John, and I have that pulled up. Um, this is First John, uh, chapter three, verse uh, verse twelve. No, I can start at verse. Let's start up. Right. Right. This is a first John chapter three, verse 10 it says in this, the children of the most high are manifest and the children of the devil. 
Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of the Most High, neither he that loveth not his, his brother. For this is the message that ye heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. Right? Just going back to uh, Psalms 15, <coughs> he, he, it says that that the, the, those that are going to uh, abide in the tabernacle, in thy tabernacle, and shall dwell in the holy hill, they're going to walk uprightly. They're going to work in righteousness. They're not going to backbite with their tongue, nor do evil of his neighbor, which we know our neighbors are brothers, you know, uh, nor take up reproach against his neighbor. Right? And it says. Uh, here in 1 John 3 and 11, for this is the message that you heard from the beginning that we should love one another, not as Cain, who was the wicked one and slew his brother and wherefore slew him because he, his own works were evil and his uh, brother's righteous. Right. And so when you go back to Psalms 15 and uh, 4, it says in whose eyes a vile person is condemned, but he honoreth them that fear the most high. That he sweareth to his own hurt and changes not, that he putteth not out uh, money to usury nor take reward against the innocent. Right? So if we keep reading down um, in verse 13, it says, Marvel not, my brother, if the world if the world uh, hate you, we know that we have passed from death unto life, because we love the brethren, that uh, uh, he that loveth not his brother abideth in death. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer, and ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. Whereby perceive we the love of the Most High, because he laid down his life for us. And really, it's talking about Yahweh Shai, and he, uh, uh, we ought to lay down our lives for our brethren. And that's why the brotherhood and this fellowship is so important. And it's because it's, it's a key and vital trait to, to what the Most High is looking for, that we're able to uh, abide and love and unity um, uh, with each other, man. Okay, that's a very, very important uh, trait and talent of the, the elect. And it's going to be one that is going to be, uh, a, again, another key to inheriting the kingdom. Okay, verse 17. But whosoever, uh, whoso hath this word, uh, world's good and seeth his brother have need and shut up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of the power in him? My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. And whereby we know that we are of the truth and shall assure our hearts before him. For if our heart condemn us, the power is greater than our heart and knoweth all things. Beloved, if, if our heart condemn us not, then we have um, then have we confidence towards the power and whosoever we ask we receive of him because he kept his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight right it says because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight so you know in showing that love it's not just that uh that uh a tingling feeling in your, your belly or your chest you know or just hanging out having a beer it's the whole it's the whole totality of what Yahweh Shah wants us to do as a body and as a unit and keeping a law. If a brother goes off, rebuking them, building them up, you have an order and, and rank. And we're going to get to those things here in a second. It's the whole totality of it. The Most High, um, uh, through His Son Yahweh Shah, is looking for those things as a talent in the men of the Lord. And this is His commandment that we should believe on the name of of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Again, that's one of the that's one of the key factors. That's why we can't uh, commune with the, uh, uh, these other camps that don't push the name, right? Because we're commissioned. Right here in the scripture it says that we should believe on the name of His Son Yahweh Shai, uh, Mashiach, and love one another as He as He gave us commandment. That's a commandment right there, you know. So we're going to be working with like-minded men who believe in the same things. And he that keepeth his commandment dwelleth in him, and, and, and he in him. And hereby we know that he abideth in us by the spirit which he hath given us. Right? So it's going back to Psalms 15, uh, and I'll start at 
2, it says, He that walketh uprightly and worketh righteousness and speaketh the truth in his heart or is in, or in, his, or, or in his mind. And so we we're constantly uh, toiling to get sharper and sharper in these law, statutes, and commandments, and but also through the Spirit and growing in unity uh, in this brotherhood. Uh, through righteous uh, deeds and work, right? They, they, he backbite not his tongue, and we've seen that a lot, right? And we've seen men come in and the first that gun ho about GMS, and then they praise him, giving double honors to the elders, and then they backbite on their own tongue, man. You know, they get proud, they get proud, right? And then now they're talking, now they're talking mess about us, you know? Now they're con con condemning the name and scoffing. Okay, it says he that backbiteth not his tongue, right, nor doeth evil uh, to his neighbor, right. And so you you know you got people that they just make a living off just doing evil towards uh, 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 men that they call brothers at one time. You know whether it's going after their family, going after their jobs, you know, trying to cause cause strife amongst brothers and contention amongst brothers. Be those men are not going to care inherit the kingdom of heaven. They're not going to. They're not. They're not going to be a part of the fold unless they repent and Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah has mercy on them. But for right here, those that uh, that are uh, back bitten the tongue and do evil towards their neighbor and 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 take reproach against their neighbor, they're not going to be a part of the tabernacle that that dwells in the holy hill, right? Now skipping down to verse five, it says, uh, "He that putteth not uh, out his money to usury, right?" And we've seen that, and we've heard stories of uh, of how um, men have committed usury on brothers, whether it was double tights or or uh, <coughs> you know, uh, even in this work, you know, even in this ministry, uh, brothers uh, use other men. Uh, to get to gain uh, status or whatever it is, whatever the case may be, uh, to look good. It said, He that uh, put not his money to usury, nor taketh reward against the innocent. He that doeth these things shall never be moved, right? And so we don't want to have those, 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 those uh, traits because we are servants to. Uh, the, the the flock, right? We, we're servants. We, uh, ultimately, we're servants to Yah, Bashi, Yah, Shah. But we're servants to the men over us, and we're servants to the men under us. And we have to stay humble in that spirit of love and sincerity in this thing, right? And so that that uh, verse right there uh, brought uh, Timothy to mind. So I'm gonna jump to Timothy. Uh, actually, that's not what I wanted. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Let's see if I can find a did. Yeah, First Timothy three. Yeah, here we go. It says this is this is First Timothy three and verse one. It says this is a true saying. If a man desired the office of a bishop, uh, he desired the good work. So we can quickly look up that word bishop. Okay. Real quick, that word bishop in the Greek. Strong's G, 1984, Episcopé. Episcopé. Episcopé, right? All right, it says uh, investigation, inspection, and visitation, the act by which uh, the Most High looks into and searches out the ways, deeds, and character of men, right? Uh, to order or uh, judge them their lot accordingly, whether joyous or sad, oversight, um, overseership, an office, a charge, the office of an elder, and the overseer of a preceding officers of, of a Christian church, right? And we have brothers that are elders in this thing. We have brothers that are deacons, you know, they have different offices, right? They have different uh, ranks, right? And, but it says specifically here. Right. It says this is true. If any man desire the office of a bishop, he desires a good work. Right. Going down to verse two, a bishop then must be blameless. The husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, 
good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach. These are traits that uh, uh, King David has spoke about here, where it talks about how we got to walk uprightly and work with righteousness and speak the truth in heart. Right. Right. Apt to teach, not given to wine, not striker, not greedy, a filthy lucre. Right. Not greedy, a filthy lucre. Let's look that up real quick. Right. Not greedy or filthy lucre. Let's look that up real quick. All right. That's another word in Greek. Strong's G146. Ice hacker days. Ice hacker days. Right. It says eager for base gain. Greedy for money. And that's what you would see in a person that commits usury on people, man. Right? Right? It says he that put it not out his, uh, his money to use you nor take his reward against the innocent. And so that's not a trait of the man of the Lord that uh, that you should have if you want to be a part of this uh, uh, be part of the elect, man. You cannot be uh, uh, a bishop cannot be greedy of filthy lucre. Right? Let's keep reading. It says in verse 3, not giving the wine or striking or greedy or filthy lucre, but patient, not a brawler, not covetous. Likewise, must the deacons be grave, not double tongue. Right there, it says not double tongue. Not, you can't be a backbiter, right? That's how the, those scriptures link up. Not giving too much wine, so same as the office of a bishop. Not greedy of filthy lucre. So it's, it's the same, right? It's the same. So, so from the, the elders or the, or the bishops on down to the deacons, and then of course it's going to be on down to those underneath, man. That's a tr these are these are the traits that Yah Bashim Yah Shai is uh, looking for in men. Okay, why? Because those are the things of the world. Though that's that's what Esau teaches you to be. You know, wiggling your way through things, lying, backbiting, constantly worrying about money, being covetous. You know. Being a brawler, quick to be angry. We're not. We're 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 not here for that, man. You know, we let Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah fight our battles, right? And, but then He's gonna build us up, and we're gonna we're gonna be able to get down physically. But this is not our time. Our time is to focus on purging out all of the wickedness that we've been implanted with. Okay. So likewise, must the deacons and the, and the deacon, you know, is again, you're, you're, you're just a servant. You know, that's basically what that word deacon means, a servant, right? To those, again, to those over you, who you call your masters or your elders, those under you, those younger men, but ultimately to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, you know, in spirit. Verse 7, for a bishop must be blameless as the steward of the Most High. Not self-willed, not soon angry, not given to wine, no striker, not given to filthy lucre. Right? Let's click this right here. Right? Verse 9. Holding the mystery of the, the faith in a pure conscience, and let these also first be proved, then let them use the office of a deacon being found blameless. So right there, you just don't let anybody cross over, right? They have to prove that they don't have these traits in them, right? So there's a vetting process there. Okay, there's a vetting process there, which which makes sense because it ties right back in to Psalms because you know the men of the Lord are going to carry these traits. Whether they're going to be solely focused on uh, 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 standing up rightly, working, uh, working righteousness, they're not constantly coveting things that, that are not theirs. They're not constantly uh, backbiting, hating, talking down with maliciousness and venom in their heart and their spirit. Right? Because we're trying to build the house of David, you know? And you can't do that with no backbiting, whole-ass nigga. You ain't going to be a whole-ass nigga and make it into the king. That ain't going to happen. So we have to focus on and work on the things that Yahweh and Yahweh has commissioned us to focus and work on.
And with that, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yah, Bashim, Yah, Shah, Bashim, Rakakadash, double honors to those that rule well. Peace and blessings to you, brothers out there, preaching this word in sincerity and truth. Praise Shalom.